I was getting ready this morning. I was like, isn't it crazy that we're actually playing a show today? Like, it feels like tomorrow, you know? When we land, it'll feel like tomorrow. It'll feel like tomorrow when we land, for sure. Because we're going to a different country in Texas. We are walking through the State Fair, checking it out. We're playing tonight at 8.30. Enjoying the amenities. We got Will do, you just ruined our whole day. We're gonna load up and then go get some food. What's up, dude? We are in uh, Dallas, we're playing the Texas State Fair, Chevrolet main stage, got myself a bagel. They didn't cut it. Let me tell you, this pisses me off more than anything. Ruined my sandwich, but I'm still gonna eat it. So uh, Chris and Nick flew in from Nashville this morning, and then David and Grant are meeting us. All right, this is definitely gonna be the biggest stage I've ever played. So we had a question to do a uh, review on what gear we use. So I figured I'd start with our ears. This is the pack I use. I think it's called Sennheiser. I can drop the link in the description, but these are our in-ear monitors that we wear so we can hear ourselves on stage. But yeah, today we're actually using the house sound. They have monitors that we're gonna use just to make it easier, but if you guys are starting off, these are a good, reasonably priced pair to get you started. We are setting up. We're sound checking here in a bit but it's gonna be a good time tonight. We got a lot of questions about our equipment, so I'll take you guys through. Maybe Nick can tell you a little bit about this thing right here. Oh, well, I got the Ernie Ball volume pedal tuner combo. It goes into my uh, Crybaby Mini, and then we're running a, uh, the five-stage Walrus audio distortion into our Keeley workstation, into our Keeley Monterey fuzz and vibe pedal. Finally into the MXR Univibe, all powered by our Walrus Audio clean power supply. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds good, so. Mine's a lot more simple. This is a DI, which means it just makes it so that my acoustic can make it up. This thing I never use, and then this is a compressor, which pretty much makes the low sounds and the high sounds equal out, and this is my tuning pedal. All right, so here we have a SG496 pedal board, got the uh, stereo chorus, tube overdrive, and the tuner. Pretty basic setup, goes right into the DI, and then Fender Deluxe amp. That's pretty much what we're working with today. Is that real? No. So speaking of gear, I've come to realize from playing these bigger shows that we need a lot more stuff to make it easier on the sound crew. We need like in-ear rigs and mixing boards and guitar cases, just stuff like that that's really expensive and I'm not ready to buy it yet. I think I realized that we need to make these purchases soon. We got our own dressing room. Pretty sick. What is this called, a trailer? No, it's yeah. a green room. It's a single trailer. wide. Oh, we used to have this exact painting in our college house. Yeah. Pretty sick, guys. Sound check went absolutely amazing. Coming off of last week's sound check, it was refreshing to have a good sound check. We're pumped. It's going to be good. We got a five piece tonight. David and Nick are playing, which is going to be fun. Setting up the merch. I think the boys are going to go explore the festival. State fair, I mean. Oh yeah. Nick's gotta go listen to some new tracks. It's like the best day ever when you get back mixes. It's Christmas. The stage is huge. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the stage is sick. Yeah, I've been really enjoying making these vlogs. I know I'm gonna like them when I can look back in a couple years and rewatch these baby steps that we were taking, but I hope you guys are liking them. If you guys keep on watching them, um, give me suggestions on what to do. I plan to release some uh, unreleased music through YouTube, some demos that may never be put out. Yeah, I don't know. I like creating content, and it's a good way for me to continue to do that every day by myself. For those of you getting into touring, just starting off, just know merch is one of your biggest sources of income. You got to bank on merch, so have good looking merch and sell as much as you can. Another thing where like I squat down, you jump over me, and then you squat down, we're gonna do that into the frame. Is it going? Guys, we just we spent $30 to, to shoot six basketballs. And we missed all of them. Uh, not worth it. These things are freaking rigged. Time to go get more money and play more games. Nick, how do you eat these as a, as a male? You don't eat it from the side? No. <laughs> oh, nice. How do you go about this? 
tell you. Dude, I still can't think. I, I, I'm still thinking about the Bucky's milk for their coffee house, just like open. Guys, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I'm doing it. Wow, that was. <laughs> That's familiar. That's similar. That is good. You wait? Oh, I'm not. It's all good. You, just, you don't want some salad dressing just pouring in your mouth? No. No? I'm gonna need some real food before the show. You had a you had a whole styrofoam container full of real food. That wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're pumped for tonight. We need to relax before the show. I agree. Yeah, we need to relax. Nick and Dave need to go over guitar parts, and we need to yeah, talk we about we need to talk about the show. I agree. We do need to talk. Yeah, we just need to go over the show and everything. Let's go do all the boring stuff now. It's not boring. Cool off in the AC. <laughs> Who do you guys have your money on? You. I think you're going to be pulling up uh, less mass than Grant. You get a water bottle at Six. Does that count? That's good, that's good. Seven. Come on, Grant. Like that one, no, no. I got six. Yeah. Six. <laughs> Two, three. I gotta get ten. Come on. Nine. Oh, ten. Look out. Yeah. Let's go. Ugh. Knock out like 18 up the start. Green room ASAP. <laughs> My back hurts from standing. <laughs> Nick's over here looking at cars. Keep moving that way. That's my favorite. Dude, I don't know what's, what Monster's putting in these things, but this is delicious. It tastes like a Fanta. It doesn't taste like it has zero sugar. Ooh. I'm gonna give that an 8.0, It tastes guys. like a Fanta? Delicious. All right, here we go to all the Kyles. That's just a classic Monster. I will say, at the end of the day, a classic Monster's better than a classic Red Bull. That's good. That's probably like a 6.9. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Continue to follow up on that question about what equipment we use. Um, I'll show you guys the guitar strings that I use. They're called Elixir. They are coated. This is for electric, but I use the same ones for acoustic. They're orange. Um, and I use the 56 to 13 um, thickness because I play it a full step down. And pretty much what that means for those of you who don't know, it just means that the strings are thicker. So when I tune it down a full step, it becomes looser. But because the strings are thicker, they still stay tight and they don't wobble like they would if I was using standard strings. So I love these strings. They're coated and smooth so you can slide your fingers easier, which is great for me. Um, and yeah, they're just the only ones I've ever used, so I stick to them. But we're going to restring my guitar. Um, for my guitar, I play a Martin X-Series. Don't know what that means. My dad gave me this guitar. I'm not a guitar junkie, so I could play probably anything. But I will say that I do really like the fact that the back of it is unfinished, so my hand slides on it easier. But yeah, I'll show you guys the restring. So I delegated the task to Nick because he knows way more than I do. We stopped by the Martin Guitar Showcase room and they gave us some of these. And uh, we're gonna lubricate the Fretboard. Oh, vlogs. 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 Two new characters in the vlog. Let's go. Michael gets nervous. <laughs> no, <he's not. laughs> oh my gosh. Nick, we are an hour out, out no? from the show. Chilling in the green room. Everyone doing their jobs, learning their songs. Yeah, yeah. Still, still need to do that, so. It was all good time. All right, guys, we just wrapped up the show. Great show. It was the best we've played, for sure. That was a good one. The sound crew was fantastic. Couldn't have asked for better sound crew hospitality. It was a great time. Uh, the band played tight as hell, which is always fun. But we're headed bubble. back to Fort Worth. We're playing in the stockyards tomorrow night. <clears throat> Got to rest up the voice. I was going to go out with the guys and drink, but now I think I'm just going to go home and go to sleep. It's 
being responsible. But see you guys in the next one.